Hi there everybody, this is Brittany from Teach Me ABA. And on today's episode, we're gonna continue our series on the BCBA Task List 5. Now today we're gonna to talk about section B-1, which is to define, discuss, and provide examples for behavior, responses, and response class. So here we go. Now, while it's important to study and have knowledge of all the topics on this list, we do recommend that you start our series from the very beginning. So take a minute to pause here and go find A-1, and this is going to talk about the principles of ABA. As usual, I'd like to remind you that all the information discussed here today comes from the Cooper, Heron, and Heward book. This is the latest edition, so make sure that you're reading up and you're studying. So let's start off with behavior. This is an organism's interaction with the environment that has some sort of effect on that organism. Basically, behaviors are anything that are observed by another person. So, for example, I need a cup. Now let's talk about response. This is defined as every instance of behavior. So for example, I need a cup. I need a cup. I need a cup. I need a cup. <laughs> so as part of those examples, how many instances of that behavior, me asking for the cup, did you see? Last but not least, we're talking about response class. So this is a group of responses that all serve the same function. So really what we're talking about here is that each response within that group serves the same function and has the same effect on the environment. For example, So thanks for joining me on this episode of Taskless B-1, where I described, defined, and provided examples for behavior, response, and response class. If you have any comments or questions, please write them below. If not, go ahead and share, like, and subscribe to Teach Me ABA. And on the next episode, we're gonna talk about section B-2. Once again, I'm Brittany and happy studying.